Welcome back, everyone, to Plum Plus Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 3, Episode 2 of Tainted Grail, Fall of Alphalon. Uh, we are on Chapter 2, and this is our Day 2 of that adventure. So we've got Beor and Maggot off in the Farshire. And here's their miniatures. Uh, we've got the men here in the Four Dweller Mounds. And we will set the men here uh, down to... There. So just re reducing his coin down for his power uh, as part of our turn-by-turn -turn tasks. Start of the day, we remove the expired men here and discard locations that are out of the men here's range. So this is an expired men here. And so that means this one and this one are out of his range now. And this one as well is out of the range. So we've got to discard these that are out of range, right? So we got to discard these. Uh, put these under the deck, I suppose. Uh, and then we can... What I'll do is I'll kind of shift all of this downward. So let's move this here. I believe also now because we're in this uh, position that we can kind of add, uh, we get to add around this men here. So I think we can add 118 and 111. So let me go ahead and put those in as well. So we've got 111, the underwall. Right? Oh no, 111, the underwall. And that goes to 112. And then below us is 118, and that's the hordes, Horns of South. So now we can kind of see how that coastline is going to match, match with the map. If you check out the coastline there, we're basically, this is going to be the underwall here, and this is... Farshire is here, Farshire, and then this is the Horns of the South, and maybe there's going to be another piece that connects out here, but we can get to that next round. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, on round one, we basically uh, just had our first encounters in Farshire. We had a dream, got some terror risen up, so let's jump into a round number two, day two. Before we do, quick shout out to this channel's sponsor, Pultos Fathom Press. We've got the Tattoo Journals out of Lovecraft's Providence Omnibus Edition. Uh, this one is collecting uh, the six works by August Moldenhauer and Giuseppe Balsamo collectively, like Genealogy of Cthulhu, Hermeticism of Hastur, Necromancy of Nyarlathotep. Our channel is not monetized, so if you go out to the bookstore link below, you can check those out. If you buy them direct from uh, our bookstore, not only do you get a benefit from that, but it actually helps us a lot more than if you buy it from Amazon. Also, we've got Alchemy and Anthroposophy in the Dune Saga, also uh, exclusively available on our uh, bookstore. And finally, we've got a collection of now four of our Pontus, Padca Pontus Fathom Podcast Series books. Uh, Esoteric Dragon is in draft right now. A lot of you guys have been asking about that one. We've got a whole collection of dragon essays uh, from the podcast we did on the other channel. If you're interested in, in dragons, go check those out. Uh, as usual, we've got our uh, Patreon, for as little as a dollar, you can read some of those books online in digital format and keep on top of our gameplay across games like Song of Ice and Fire, Joan of Arc, Miniature Paintings, uh, we've got Cthulhu, Death May Die coming up, War of the Rings, and lots of other gameplay out there. So go check out the links below. Helps to support us and liking and subscribing as well. Leave your comments below. We read all of the comments, respond to them, and thank you for your support. So let's jump into this. So um, let's figure out where we want to go. We got Horns of the South. And then we've got the Underwall. We, we, we kind of wanted to go where... I think part of our quest was... Uh, find out where the first um, first expedition went. We had some rumors about a timber, timber wall. Timber wall. So what we'll do is let's plan to move upward. Um, so we move up 
Oh, actually, we had to play our random event card, too. Our random event card says, good weather. Your first travel costs zero. Costs one less. So, so great. So we get to use our good weather uh, card. That helps. Um, and we will be able to travel then to here without it. And then it said, there's a thing here that says, for two energy, we can gather food. We get two food and, and gr draw a green encounter. So let's grab two food, uh, and we will um, grab a green encounter first. And it's a, I had this one already. I didn't put it back on the deck here. Let me just shuffle these up just in case. Okay, yeah, so let's say, again, we got this, say, we, did, we had one, but we get another one. It's a glade hair, so it's basically we can hunt for some food here. So let's go ahead and have um, uh, Bayor can start out with his three. He's going to do a, uh, he's going to go right with his crippling strike. He gets the two right there. Uh, so yeah, right off the bat, he can go ahead and... Um, He's going to get two. He'll lose one energy, but we gain two food as his loot. So we've gotten two more food gained. He'll share one of them with Maggot. And we've got this win right in our belts here. So this is great. So um, extra food from our catch. Let's jump into uh, the card. It says Underwall. See, we've got a coastline here. It says, 600 years after the fall of the four dwellers, the walls of uh, Tawothan, their capital, still cut the island in half. Interesting. It says, the wall looms over the sparse forest like a thundercloud. Wherever you go, its disturbing surface keeps drawing your eyes to its textured, twisted bone. There are many openings in it. Could some of them lead to the other side of the fabled riches of Tauthan? Fortunately, wild creatures don't seem to mind the imposing presence. Glades and groves are full of prey. Oh, like we got our rabbit there. Far in the distance, you can also see a group of travelers struggling to drag their bulky carts through the wilderness. Activate a men here. So we can activate a men here as well. Uh, but we don't need to. What we'll do is we will do some exploration. So let's explore uh, from the booklet uh, we are on underwall 111 underwall it says uh, explore the crevices of the wall go to first verse one approach the travelers go to verse three Um, sit down and admire the wall. Go to verse 7. So I think we should go go ahead and go to... Um, let's go to explore the crevices of the wall. Go to verse 1. The bone-like structure of the wall has many openings, some large enough to enter. You gather your courage and walk into the otherworldly structure. After just a few minutes, vertigo creeps in. It's easy to get lost in this labyrinth of low corridors and narrow slits. Each party gains one terror, okay? And then we can go deeper. We each have the required courage. So we go to verse two. Going deeper through the walls feels like crawling through a skeletal remains of some long dead gargantuan creature. Roll a die and add plus two. Check the, the total results. Plus two for each point. So we get a three. Plus two for each point of practicality. So four, five, six, seven. If you have part three of dreams and prophecies. Let's see. Do we have part three of dreams and prophecies? Part. No, we don't. Otherwise, go to verse eight. Okay, so we'll go to verse 8. Verse 8. 
Okay, so we're crawling through this wall. You come upon five corpses. Whoa. Their desiccated flesh barely clings to bones, partly grown into the wall. You scrutinize the cadavers. Fortunately, they're far too old to belong to the Champions of Village. Oh, okay, wow. Some of their equipment might still be useful. You spot a glinting object crad crad cradled in a dried-out hand. Strange material. Neither metal nor wood. This piece of jewelry is not of human origin, but the symbols it bears undoubtedly are. Gain two random non-companion items. Okay, so let's go through, gain two random non-companion items. So we get sacred incense and a precious memento. One is at the end of the day, discard this item and remove three from your character and your location. We'll give that to Maggot because he seems to have fearful. And this lose more terror when resting. Okay, so we got some lose terror when resting items, which are cool, which is appropriate for what we've gone through. Uh, also, gain the tarnished talisman secret card, number 21. So we're going to gain tarnished talisman. Secret card. The Tarnished Talisman. The Tarnished Talisman Secret Card. Uh, whenever you lose any fear, you lose one more point. Whoa, this is all about losing fear. This is great. So let's give this one also to Maggot. He will hold on to that talisman. And part three of the dreams and prophecies status. Great. So we get dreams and prophecies status. Part three for both of us. And and then we will... Um, uh, each party member gains one experience. So we get some more experience. Then choose one. Remain in the labyrinth or continue your journey and go to verse 2. So if we, if we, if we, um, okay, so let's continue our journey. Yeah, why not? So we'll go continue our journey. We'll pay one more energy, I believe, right? Pay one more energy. Pay one energy per party member. So we're still okay. Have plenty of energy. Uh, we're going to continue our journey. Going deeper through the walls feels like crawling through the skeletal remains of some long dead gargantuan creature. We roll the die again. Uh, we got plus four, um, f five, six, five plus. If you have part three of dreams and prophecies, go to verse 10 this time. So this time we go to verse 10. Verse 10 says, Finally, after what seemed a week of crawling through the narrow passages, you've reached the top of the wall. The view is just as impressive as you have imagined, with the mirror lake shining like a silver plate not far to the east and the walls of Camelot far beyond it. Piss off the edge of the wall. You feel like a true adventurer. If you don't have part four of the... Um, uh, if you don't have part four of the strange encounter status, each party gains one experience point and loses one terror. So we gain one experience. And we lose one terror. And this is, whenever you lose one terror, you lose one more point because he has the tarnished thing. So now his maggot's terror is going down. After that, gain part four of the strange encounters. So we gain part four of strange encounters. Strange encounters part four. Just mark it on both in case we get separated someday. I'm not sure how this goes. So strange encounters part four. And then make another choice. Uh, last choice is go back through the labyrinth. Exploration ends. So we go back through the labyrinth. Exploration ends. And that's going to wrap it up for our day. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, we can get a men here activated here. We won't do that right now. What we will do is we'll eat a food uh, each. And we're going to heal. So Bayor gets his uh, wound down one. But then he goes up one more. When you rest, he gets it all healed and healed. So the terrors are all healed. The day of rest is healed. And uh, 
advance your character by spending exp modify your decks and if you're in the location with the dream icon have the dream that's it so i think we're set for uh day number two of chapter two so we'll see you guys in round three and uh that'll be day three of this uh chapter so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next turn over here take care bye bye